Good morning. This video is just a follow-up to one I posted two years ago regarding these overseas manufactured lithium-ion batteries that are sold as a direct replacement for the snap-on NICAD batteries. After I posted the video, I had a few comments. I had a few people reach out and say, hey, how have they held up? Um, so this is kind of an answer to that. They've held up fine. Honestly, they've kind of surprised me. The only issue that I've had is the first one I bought died after about two months. Now, I don't blame the battery for this. I was on a job where I needed to drill a 3 8 inch hole in 5 8 inch plate. All I had on the truck with me was a snap-on 18 volt drill. So I was able to drill the hole, had a good sharp drill bit, but I ran that drill until it was almost too hot to, to hold on to without a glove on. Where I went wrong is I ran the battery completely down, threw it on the charger for five or 10 minutes, ran it completely down again. I did that about three times, pretty much killed the battery. So ever since then, if you put it on the charger, it acts like it's gonna charge, it never goes above one light, and then the little, hey, your battery's bad light comes on. So it still takes somewhat of a charge, but you can hear the difference, the bad one versus a good one. So they've held up well. Would I recommend them or not? So that 100% depends. If you are a field technician, you're out in the sticks working on things and stuff absolutely has to work, I would say go with Milwaukee, go with Snap-on Lithium-Ion, go with DeWalt. Uh, but if you're like me, where Running my service truck is a part-time gig. I have a full-time job. The service truck is just part-time. Or if you're on a budget, I think this is a good way to go. I can consistently pick up half-inch impacts or drills on eBay or Craigslist for $30, $40. Um, some of these I've gotten for even less than that because it's kind of interesting. The person will say, yeah, it doesn't work anymore. I don't know why and it won't work with the NICAD battery, even if it's charged, but I throw the lithium ion and all of a sudden it starts working. In fact, this was one that I got for almost nothing for that reason. Funny thing was after I ran the lithium ion on it, I could put the NICAD on and it would work. So interesting there. Um, so again, would I recommend them? Yeah, it's not bad. $40 for a tool and $60 for battery, you're in it less than a hundred bucks for something serviceable. Even if you, do this as something to keep in your truck just to change lug nuts. It's really not a bad deal. Uh, $60 for these batteries, really not bad. Interesting thing, when I was buying them initially, the largest capacity you could get was 4,000 milliamps. Now, they are, have some that are 5,000. The company that sells these on eBay actually advertises that they offer a five-year war warranty on them. So I contacted them directly, wondering if that was the case or if it was a typo or something got lost in the translation. And they responded, yes, it's it's true. We do a five-year warranty. It covers everything but uh, theft or loss. So for $60, considering that a rebuild kit for these or having them rebuild is around $60, $60 to end up with lithium ion that seemed to last, I think is a good option. Um, I think I said it in the other video, but the cases are not as robust. If I drop this thing while I'm standing on a ladder and it lands on the corner, it's probably going to break the case. So they're not as robust as these ones are. They're also about half the weight because lithium ion is just more energy dense than NICAD. So overall, I, I would recommend. It's not a bad way to go. Just look at what you're doing. If you're full time, you're depending on your tools day in and day out, it's pretty hard to not say, go with something brand new, Milwaukee, DeWalt, Snap-on Mac, something like that. Um, but if you're like me and you're doing it on a part-time basis, or you're on a tight, tight budget, this is a great option. So feel free to uh, flame me in the comments, tell me I'm an idiot and I don't know what I'm talking about, or whatever you'd like to do. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, Thanks for watching.